My girlfriend just got married here in Nashville. It was a fun wedding to go to. She married herself a rich cowboy. Oh, yeah, I'm not bitter. <sighs> she came from a poor family. Her dad was a cab driver in an Amish town. So, you know, that's uh, not a lot of money in that family. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's tough. Her mom was a stripper in a nudist colony, so, you know, they were broke. <laughs> They'd seen it all. You know, that's something that I always wanted to do before I ever got into stand-up, is I kind of wanted to be an exotic dancer. What do you guys think, huh? Yeah. yeah. I love the vote of confidence, but you wouldn't want to see me without my clothes. That'd be the peekaboo show. Take one peek and boom! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I went, I went with these guys one time to one of those places called the Firehouse. It was in New York City. And when you go into the place, the guy's like, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Firehouse. Welcome our first performer of the evening. Now, you know, the girls always have names like Jasmine, Chastity, you know, what? you never hear anybody, Gladys, <laughs> Esther, right? So they're gonna bring this woman to the stage. Welcome, Candy. First thing you hear, ah, here comes Candy down the pole, right? Ah! I'm like, oh my gosh, I would have never made it in that business right then and there, right? <laughs> Oh yeah, I am too, I, I'm too practical. I'd be, could somebody put some WD-40 or something on that bad boy? <laughs> hey y'all, let's put some butter around it. You know, just, anyways, yeah. We do all kinds of things to meet guys, ladies, you know. I just, oh, it's, it's like one of those things. I went to my friend's wedding and I took my mom and you know, it just kind of brings you back around to family, but we're getting dressed, we're getting ready to go to this wedding, and my mom's not wearing a bra. I'm like, Mom, how come you're not wearing a bra? She goes, I don't wear a bra because it takes the wrinkles out of my neck. <laughs> really? Oh my God, please put one on. Oh. She buys me lingerie, got me the rawhide bra, the one that kind of heads them up and moves them out, oh yeah. She got my sister, the bird dog bra. That's the one that makes pointers out of setters. So you're like, ugh. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, my mom, between her and my grandma, those ladies, they are why I do comedy. You know, my grandma's one of the first patients to ever use marijuana for glaucoma treatment. She said her eyesight never got any better, but her outlook on life sure did. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My grandma, my mom, it's just like, you know, I, uh, I let my mom borrow my car one time. I get a phone call from the police station. I go, hello? She's like, Sonia, you're not going to believe what's happened to your mama tonight. I'm like, mom, are you drinking and driving? No, I've smoked some of mamaw's pot. What? <laughs> yep, yeah, and then I got a ticket for parking in a handicapped parking space. Why, hell, I didn't know those people went out at night. That's dangerous. Oh man, you guys, family is why I do stand up. Exactly. My mom could have been one of the golden girls. She is just, oh. My favorite was Betty White. Anybody here, Betty White fans? Right, my name is Sonia White, so I thought maybe I was related. You know, my favorite episode was the golden girls. Ma, I can't believe you're gonna give me a baby brother or sister at your age. Oh, gee, pussycat, I thought you'd be thrilled. Oh, Sophia, you know that can't happen at your age. In St. Olaf it could. Why, there was a man that was 104 years old. Rose. Poor Rose always got cut off. Yes, she did. I loved all those old sitcoms, you guys. It was just like, it was one of my favorite things, you know, and they don't make TV like they do anymore, you, you know? It was like those old shows. Gosh, I, uh, uh, I'll have to tell you. Remember, did anybody ever like Alf? Did you guys ever watch those shows? I like Alf. I like all, you know, any of the My Antenna stuff is like all my favorite stuff. But anyways, I, uh, I need to be getting out of here. I just got a call. Someone said that my German, my neighbor's German Shepherd just hopped the fence and has had his way with the Pomeranian on the, in my building on the second floor. So we're going to have geraniums. If anybody wants one, just let me know. Thanks so much, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.